Hello, my lovely family. How are we doing today? Welcome to my tutorial for today. Today, I'm going to be, rather, we are going to be obliging a request. Someone said I should make a tutorial of an off-shoulder cape blouse. And she sent me the exact picture she wanted. So today we are going to be doing justice to that very style. Okay? I hope everyone is safe. I hope we are all doing well. Let's just quickly go over to the tutorial. Already I have cut the skirt of the, the style. So the concentration is just on the upper part. I mean the top. Okay? So quickly we will just go over to begin our class for today now for this style you should make sure you have the circumference of the person's shoulder by circumference i mean this way round the shoulder you should make sure you have that measurement okay where the off shoulder is to begin okay for this very tutorial i'll be cutting a with shoulder bust here first and then we'll be taking away a few inches from the upper part to achieve that very style, okay? For the benefit of those who are joining us for the first time, I'll be repeating that bustier pattern here. I would have just cut it and then we just go over to the cape. But for the benefit of new subscribers, let's just do a repeat of that bustier. So I'll be cutting the center front first of all. So first you measure out the, the half length of the top. That is from shoulder to waistline. Or a little bit below the under bust. So half length is 15 inches. I added one inch as sewing allowance. The next thing will be to place the shoulder measurement. For the benefit of new subscribers, there are other ways to cut your posture, but I always choose this one because it is, to me, the easiest. Shoulder is 16, that is 8. 4 inches here. And then 1 inch, this is for shoulder slope. which is not actually necessary, but let's just put it for new subscribers. This is also three inches for shoulder slope. Okay. So assuming we are doing a with shoulder, then we'll make use of this shoulder slope, but because we are not doing a with shoulder, we will not be making use of it. But I just put it there for the new subscribers then i'll take my shoulder to bust point measurement which is 11 inches i'll add half an inch because i'll be using that half an inch to join this upper part and the back or the cape and the front part so 11 and a half inches now i will come down by three inches and go up by three inches i use three inches because the bust is not up to 40. If it's up to 40 i would have used maybe three and a half inches okay or even the same three inches will still be fine okay then the next would be to take nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches then I'll be adding my sewing allowance. If your sewing allowance is half an inch, you add half an inch. If it's quarter, you add quarter. Mine is quarter of an inch. So what I'm taking is four and quarter. Okay. I'll now connect from this point to this place downwards okay. 
Okay. So this is the center front. And with the help of this one, we're going to be cutting the two sides for the front still. But before then, I will notch these three points. Okay, so for the two sides, remember I will always say you make sure you have is on fold. I hope you see it. So you make sure you have at this unfolded area, you have not less than three inches. So you place it this way making sure that you have not less than three inches on this side. When you do that, you mark those notch points. And then you trace out this line, the shape of the center front, I mean. Okay. Arm hole is eight inches. Now my bust measurement is thirty nine inches into four is nine point seven five. You can place your bust measurement at the center notch. Okay. Remember, that's where the bulge is going to form, okay? If you still place it like this, there is no problem. 9.75, which is here. Now, like I'll always say again, if you like, you can add sewing allowance, which to me, I always consider useless because of the bulge that will come out here, okay? But you can still add it. But it is very important that you add the sewing allowance at the waist line. So for my waist is 33 into 4 is 8 and quarter. I'll be adding sewing allowance of 2 and a half inches. Okay. Now, at this center notch, I'm going to move away from this line by two and a half inches. You can use three inches, okay? It depends on the bust of the person you are working with, okay? For mine, two and a half inches is just okay. So, you connect to this lower notch and then connect to this point. All these are for the benefit of new subscribers. Okay. But you make sure the bulge or this curve is not sharp. So this is it for the front. The back should be very easy for everyone. So this is for the back. I'm using a zipper allowance of two inches. Shoulder is 16, arm hole is 8, bust measurement is 9.75, showing allowance of 2 inches, waist is 8.25, showing allowance of 3 inches, 1 inch is going to be for that. 
All right. So for the neck, we're going to leave it like this. And I hope we all know why. This is the back. This is the front. You see the front also does not have any neck pattern. So I'll cut the wooden and also the lining. Okay. By the time I join this one to the two sides, we will now come to give it a neck. I hope you understand. Since it's, a, it's an off shoulder, we are getting the off shoulder from this with shoulder. Okay, I hope it's clear enough. So I'll first of all, after I cut the wooden and gum it to the, to the body of this fabric, I'm going to then join these two to the two sides before we now remove whatever we are removing so that this will form an off shoulder. So for the peplum, I'll be making it a 720 degree peplum. That is to say, I'll be dividing the waist into two. Okay. You see, in that picture, we have two steps. I'll be dividing the waist into two. So the waist I'm working with is 33 inches divided into two is 16.5. To that 16.5, I'll add extra 15 inches, making it 31.5. Okay. And the radius for that 31.5 is 5.02. Okay. I hope we are clear on this. 5.02. So I'm going to be cutting the 5.02 radius with the length of my peplum in two places. Okay, that is for one step. Then I'll cut another one. So in all, we are going to be having 360 degree peplum in four places, but with two lengths. I hope we are clear. So here we go for the first one. I folded the first one for the benefit of those joining us newly. And then I'll fold again. So now, having folded, I'll just take the measurement of my radius, which is 5. I'll measure it round. And then measure the length of my peplum. For the first one, I'll use nine and a half inches, folding allowance inclusive. So this is one. So what I tried to explain initially was that this is going to be two. And then I'll cut another one that is shorter than this. Two as well. I hope I didn't confuse any of us. So I'll go ahead to cut this one and make it two. Then I'll cut a shorter one, two as well, but with the same Radius. Remember, this is the waist line. All right. So now we have them cut out. This is two. And I have here two as well. Okay. The only difference is the length, but it's the same radius. So let me go ahead and line them. 
So here I have the peplum fully lined. Remember for each of the steps, there are two of them. I've also joined them so that they become one. Initially, they were like this. This way. I didn't think I needed to show this. This way. So you see there are two. I now join them here. But I made sure the rough edges are tucked inwards. The same thing with the other shorter layer. Okay. Also, this is the back. I've lined it. Here is open because I'll be cutting some parts off. This is the front. Okay. And this is the lining for the front. Okay. So at this point, you will have to decide how many inches you are taking away from the upper part. For me, I'll be taking away four inches. It is also at this point that you should give your neck a style that if it is if it is not a straight neck. So for the back also I'll remove four inches. Okay, so I'll now go to the machine and just hold the lining and the fabric together. And then I'll line the front part. I want to make this midpoint a little bit curvy. Okay. All right. For this back also, I'll need to make it deeper than the front. Okay. So I removed two and a half inches extra from the center. Here is four, but here is six and half. Okay, because the back is now deep. I hope you see it. So now having lined the front, the next thing will be to join the front and the back together. Okay. Bust measurement thirty nine into two is nineteen point five. Waist is thirty three into two is sixteen point So I'll go to the machine and sew it here. So when you are done with the joining, just as I've finished, the next thing will be to attach a connecting rope from here.
to here i hope you get that from this front armhole area to this one like i said before now you should have measured the circumference of the shoulder you are working with okay so when you measure from here to this last place whatever you have you minus it from your shoulder the remaining is what you should measure from here to here i hope it's clear enough so that it becomes a perfect and a complete shoulder okay so i'll be using nine and a half inches to connect the front and the back just at the shoulder here so that it will have a connection okay where the cape is going to sit okay mine is nine and a half yours must not be nine and a half it's just going to be a, something that is very small like this just like one inch or one and a half inches okay i'll go to the machine so it doesn't have to be big okay just one inch or one and a half inches this way just sew it this way okay and attach it here and here all right okay so when you do that when you attach you should have something like this and when you measure it it should give you the person's accurate shoulder measurement okay excluding this zipper allowance of course you know that okay so when you get this done now you go over to the cape the cape could either be circular or straight it depends on the one you want either circular or straight okay and also for this rope you see the folded edge is looking downwards the rough edge is upwards together with the other upper part which is also rough that is because the cape is going to be attached there so the shoulder i'm working with is 46 and a half inches zip allowance inclusive and that is what i have here okay the length of this fabric is 46 and a half inches and then when i fold it is six inches okay so that's going to be forming my cape all right first i will either use my iron to press it very well before we now make sure that the center the midpoint at the center front must be the midpoint on this place okay remember the front is a little bit curvy inwards so we're going to make sure we capture that at the front cape so the best and the easiest way to get this done is to get the measurement between this shoulder and this shoulder six inches okay meanwhile i'm not in the center six inches when on food okay so coming here now you measure the same six inches which is here Okay, so this is for the front. Okay, and then the next one will be the back. So between here and here, is this shoulder this attachment between here and here so this is for the back and all you would do 
is this. Okay, so this way now we've got uh, the center. This is the front. This is the back. Looking at it, you will see they are no longer straight. This is the front. This is the shoulder. And this is the back. Okay. And the back is not straight according to our picture. It's slanted this way. So I'll just remove a few inches. Okay. So now what I'll do is I'm going to the machine to close up these two ends. Okay. This is the right side, please. This is the wrong side. So I'm going to the machine. I close up this end. I close up the other end. Okay. Then I turn it over. And then make a very running stitch along this line before I now attach it. This is the first. You attach from the wrong side. Okay. And then you top stitch against the wrong side as well. Okay. So I'm still going to go to the machine and top stitch right on top of the lining. So that when this one falls, it will be comfortable it will just stay on its own and you should have something like this when you are done also when you finish please ensure that you knitting the armhole area So the cape is now sitting perfectly well. So the next thing will be to now attach our peplum. I don't think this should be any way difficult. First, I'll be attaching this one. I won't be attaching the two together. Okay. Normally, I should just join the shorter one on top of the longer one and then attach here and print as i go okay but looking at the way that peplum is this was attached separately and this was attached separately i'm going to do the same thing as well i'm going to be attaching this one separately and then attaching this one separately but on top of this one so that the printing becomes different okay so this is the first layer, okay, I'm still going to follow the same way I pleated it to do the second layer. That way, each the second layer will be different from the first layer, I mean the pleats, it will no longer be together. Okay, so you see what I was talking about? This is different and this is different as well. The same plate but separate. Okay. Assuming I attach this one to this one, you will now have this short one, this shorter layer, the plate inside this one. But then you will be seeing the length. Okay. But this way it is different. The last thing will be now to attach the zipper and that will be all. And then here it is and we are done. I hope you see the cape standing out on its own. This is the front. I hope you see it. And to the person who requested for this tutorial, I hope I've made it less complicated for you. I sincerely hope you understood perfectly. But if you don't, 
you always know how to reach me with your questions feel free to drop them at the comment section or if you have my whatsapp number you can as well reach out to me thank you for watching till the end i really need to give it a very good press and we are good to go if you are yet to subscribe please hit the red icon before you leave and also tap on the notification bell okay i love you all from the bottom of my heart and please don't forget to live your life showing kindness and being nice to people bye